We asked thousands of locals, what are the three things that they regret after moving to St. George, Utah? And here's what they said. Jim, too many good looking single women. Two, <laughs> it's difficult to choose between restaurants. Too many awesome choices. Three, outdoor adventure. Hell yes, that's a real drawback alrighty. Nick and I have posted several pros and cons videos about living in St. George, Utah on this channel before. Every time we talk about the cons of living here, it always comes across sugar-coated or as if there are no negatives to living in Southern Utah. Or we come across as if we are trying to sell you on living here. Surely we wouldn't do that. Let's face it, the perfect place to live does not exist. And there are some real negatives that people experience after they've moved here. And some of these things even make them regret it so much that they end up leaving St. George. So in order to make this video genuine, we reached out to the internet for exactly that. What are the three things you regret after moving to St. George, Utah? The responses might shock you. According to the locals, there are literally hundreds of reasons why moving to St. George, Utah may be the biggest mistake that you'll ever make. But the only one that matters to me is which one of these responses may be a deal breaker for you. To our surprise, the total number of responses were overwhelming, for which we are are grateful because we love to share as much relevant information as possible. Some of these responses might surprise you. Okay, we're gonna go through these kind of quickly because Michonne overachieved and we I haven't counted them all, but I think we've got close to a thousand comments across four different yard sale pages. So I sorted these in order to see some of the top comments because those are the issues that are supported by the rest of the community in forms of uh, in form of likes and reacts. I will just read some of these. Michonne will share some of our feedback and we'll go through kind of quickly so we could cover as many as possible without putting you guys to sleep. Brian Murphy said, moved here two years ago in large part due to your and Nick's videos. Well, thank you, Brian. I hope that that really helped, that inspired. We regret not doing it way sooner. We may have been able to afford to buy if we had. I do lament the silly laws around alcohol and tobacco out here, but that's not a regret, just odd inconvenience for, for a state that prides itself in freedom. Yeah, I think alcohol laws are actually changing around 2020, they've allowed beer sales and who knows before. It, it seems like there are more places downtown St. George that have liquor licenses now. So I think that's it's definitely all subject to change. And Jaden said, not buying land when I was in the third grade which is hilarious because which would be hilarious. awesome. I mean, that's, that's unfortunately a common regret because I feel like the economy in general is changing and things in Southern Utah definitely used to be a lot cheaper. Hunter uh, doubled down on that, not buying a house here when I was seven. Sandra said that the airport doesn't have more flights to more places. That's definitely a big inconvenience. Vince said not purchasing enough land, no Sam's club yet said Ryan, other people moving here. Well, can't really prevent that. Alex said, nice out here, but people can't drive. Couldn't agree more. Larry said, love Dixie, but long trip to BYU games and events. Hard to grow a garden. People who move here and complain. <laughs> I think that you can't avoid that anywhere. Ken said, not moving here sooner. Haley said, the summer heat. You'll see that a lot. Luann said, I didn't get my parents to move out here. No Maddox Steakhouse and traffic. I agree. You could never have too many steakhouses and having your parents close by, which is something that I'm working on. Diane said June, July, and August. That is so true. June, July, and August are three of the hottest months here in Southern Utah. So those are the things that you could catch yourself regretting if you can't deal with the heat. Pamela said the heat in the summer. Rebecca said restaurants with chefs and fresh cooking, so few available. Ability to purchase alcohol at a non-state store prices. Shopping, lack variety of inventory uh, of selections locally. However, love where we live. There is no perfect place. Appreciate what is around you and be happy. Life is short and each of us are in charge of our own happiness. Beautifully said, I couldn't agree with that more. And yeah, I mean, those are the obvious issues. Kristen said, not moving sooner, not buying when it was affordable and not bringing family. Judy said, no regrets. We love it here. We need another Costco or maybe their new scheme of swiping membership cards will thin out the crowds. 
Ingrid. <laughs> For some reason, a lot of people are really upset about having to scan in their Costco membership. Which is funny because like you can't check out of Costco without your card anyways. I always thought it was kind of useless, but I guess it's part of their loss prevention yeah. strategy. Yeah. Valda said none, none, and none. Those are the three things that she regrets about moving here. Shanti, heat, that's about it. And then Amanda, the heat, but I hate snow more. James said people. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Not being around my friends. Andrew regrets he never moved here. Mary apparently is very upset because her top three things about that she regrets about living here is moving to Southern Utah three times. I was waiting for this comment. Yeah, no regrets. Luke said, it's my credo. You know what I'm saying? No, re no regrets. Those that have seen this image could appreciate it. That's funny. Okay, let's hop over to one of the other pages and see what else people have to say. Shauna said the change in Southern Utah after 30 plus years used to be a pleasant, slow place, adorable, small community where everyone knew their neighbors. Now it's noisy rat race where everyone has road rage. <laughs> 43 people supported that comment, but you know, unfortunately with growth comes the change. They didn't put AC in the garage. That's true. That's very real in the summertime. We highly recommend mini splits because you could do that after the fact. Not a good place for footy, bed drivers. Everyone that followed me, nothing we love it here nothing. it's a wonderful place to live i'm sorry the secret is out not going soon or not buying land while it was affordable selling too soon in 2021 mm -hmm. sarah said well i'm from new york city i don't miss a damn thing every city has growth and bed drivers etc i will take saint george however one thing i miss food lots and lots of cultural food and good food no chains but i'm okay i agree sarah and one of the pros is Las Vegas has all the great options for food and it's a great place to visit and then come back home. It's only an hour and a half short drive. You just have to drive. So that's, that's still a negative. That's true. Josh said I grew up here, but religion and politics, I guess not everybody agrees. That's okay. That's why we have the freedom of choice. Carmen said heat, traffic, and no respect for stop signs. Traffic lights, not every sign is a yield sign. And finally, the price of electricity in Washington, unbelievable. Washington city power is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's like around maybe 12 cents per kilowatt. And it is expensive by local standards, especially when you're comparing to like six cents for per kilowatt for Dixie power. But I think anybody watching this outside of Southern Utah is not gonna think that that's expensive. Erica regrets telling people that we aren't from Utah. Sandra Lee said, not knowing how low 1980s wages they pay us, how bad the drivers drive, that my adult kids can't afford to buy a house here now. Unfortunately, can't disagree with any of that. If you work a local job, the wages here are, depending on the industry, they can be considerably lower than what you would make in other states. Let's look at what people in Hurricane say. Tim, people trying to ram their religion down your throat. I haven't really experienced that. Mm -mm. And, and we've probably helped probably over 250 families move to the area. We've had one family reach out to us that wanted to move back where they moved here from saying the pressure of the religion with their kids was the reason. But, you know, out of 250 families, we really haven't had anyone coming back to us saying, hey, we want to sell because of this issue. Not building an underground bunker to avoid the heat times three. David said, I regret not buying four homes when I did. That's that's a common regret. 22 people supported that. But that's what I like posting about this on a public forum, because you're not just hearing our point of view. You're hearing hundreds of people that live here how they feel about it. And I think it's safe to say some of the top regrets are going to be the heat, obviously not purchasing land or property sooner. Bad drivers. Their family not coming and following. Every time you move, you want to be close to your family, to your grandkids. Mila said, one, three months of brutal heat, two, great healthy food options and restaurants. That is true. There are not very many like actually legitimately healthy food options. There's a couple of restaurants that we like. Friends and community people here are nice, but the culture here is different for sure. Being able to ride my bike from my house without feeling like every truck wants me is a hood ornament. You know, I couldn't agree more. I, I, we both used to ride motorcycles and I wouldn't imagine being able to ride a bicycle here the way people ride in the city and feel safe because drivers do suck. Jacob said, it's too hot. Everyone drives like it's bumper cars, snooty teenagers, which I didn't expect. I don't know about the teenagers part. So far, all the kids I've met here were pretty nice. Amy said, one, I don't know how to drive on a two lane highway. Left lane is for passing only. Thanks, 
grumpy old man who flipped me off. You taught me a great lesson that day and you had a huge, you had a huge middle finger. finger. <laughs> I didn't study what I wanted in college, tried to study what my family wanted me to instead. And regret number three is I should have ordered a salad the one time and not lasagna. I should have ordered the salad that one time, not the lasagna. That's funny. I don't know how that's relevant, but that is funny nonetheless. Hello friends, I hope that you're enjoying this video as much as we enjoyed making it. There's truly only one thing that we enjoy more than making these videos, and that's hearing from you. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking that St. George might be a great place for you, or maybe you're thinking about relocating somewhere else in Southern Utah, or the entire state of Utah for that matter, please reach out to us. We would absolutely love to be of service to you. Our contact information is in the description below this video, as well as a link to reserve a time in our calendar for an obligation-free meeting so we can chat and see if we could be a good fit for each other and if Southern Utah is right for you. Without further ado, let's get back to this video. Roxy said not buying a bigger home and lot land. I it's agree. A, it's a huge regret for many. Susan said I didn't get here sooner and yes, we moved from Southern California too. Scott said no regrets at all. Great place, but geez, this liquor store thing is ridiculous. So in Utah, you can't just walk into a grocery store and purchase alcohol. There are state liquor stores that are usually Monday through Friday, or maybe they're open Saturday, nine to five, that you can purchase alcohol. So that seems to be a common regret for many as well. Debbie said 64 years in Washington state and camping here for many years with family. Great move, never go back to that beautiful state. After working in the R, so many nice people here. Growth is inevitable everywhere. I think that's a well-balanced comment. I agree. Patricia said, no ocean, still love the East Coast. Utah is a great second. Nothing, I'm looking for someone to rent a room in my home. <laughs> She's using that as an opportunity to market a room. Uh, I'm renting a room for $1,000 per month. No rude comments, only kind and serious inquiries. Steven said, been here 30 plus years and just wish I had money back then to buy a five acre parcel. That's my only regret. Richard said, we can't buy wine and grocery stores. No major stores like Macy's, no Chinese restaurants. Actually several Chinese restaurants in St. George. And I think the one that's up on the Red Cliffs Parkway. Uh -huh. What's that one called? It's not China Palace. Maybe China Palace. I'll have to link it below. I don't know, but it's one of our favorites. Why don't we forget? If you're looking for Chinese food in St. George, definitely visit that one. So I reached out and posted on four different Facebook community pages and got an obviously an overwhelming amount of responses. Over oh. a thousand. Yeah, over a thousand comments. That's way too much to go through in one video. So we're gonna pick one page. This one got 300 comments said weed is illegal. That's his biggest regret. <laughs> Denise, having to rehome our 10 year old house cat because landlords are so anti-animal here and not being able to go to concerts, basketball or baseball games easily, leaving great neighbors. Which I will agree that Southern Utah is not the most pet friendly with rentals. And if you if you happen to live in a big city now where you could go to a sporting venue and attend those, that, that could be a big deal for some people, I guess, too. Vlad, I love it here but it was better before all the people that hate it here moved here. You know, that's that's an interesting comment because I feel like whenever you turn to the internet, people will always share their negative experiences first. So if you're just reading on the internet, some of these comments, I feel like people are 10 times more likely to talk if they had a negative experience versus a positive experience. They just assume that things should always be perfect. Amanda, not realizing that a lot of people who moved in don't understand the heritage and customs of the people who have survived here since before air conditioning. I wish I had been more aware and then maybe we could have saved Dixie State University. What Amanda is referring to here is in lieu of new modern woke culture, a lot of places have been renamed and some of the people that took place in voting for these name changes really didn't know what those things stood for and had no idea of the cultural resemblance. And it's unfortunate that some of these things were changed, the names were changed because they were found to be offensive when that wasn't the intention. There's a big world out there. If you don't like it here, leave. No regrets for me. Miranda, not doing it sooner, not buying land here when I was in high school, LMAO. Underestimating how amazing Utah is before I left for 12 years so glad to live here we find that a lot a lot of people leave the area and then they come back because there's no place like home allison the heat 
Tiffany, not buying a bigger house, not having a three car garage or not having an e-bike. I love Southern Utah. If you have an e-bike, there are definitely many places to ride it. Just mm -hmm. not on the road because we'll, we'll read in the comments that there's some, there's lots of crazy drivers here. Yeah, I regret nothing. It's a beautiful place to live and raise a family. I've lived in many places and out of state and out of the country. I would choose St. George area over and over. Jill. I or agree no. with Jill. Sorry, Lily. Oh, Lily. I don't know how we end up. I don't know. Mark, I love everything about it. Those that do not, there are other places. Nate, moving to Southern Utah, moving to Southern Utah, moving to Southern Utah. Nate hates it here. Yeah. <laughs> Brian said, no decent sushi bars, too hot, and no decent Mexican food. I think I agree on Mexican food. Sushi bars, Kabuto is okay. Uh, and there's a really good poke place called Poke Bowl. So if you're in the area, check it out. And maybe if Brian is watching this, uh, those would be my suggestions to cure at least one of your problems. Susan said, I've lived lots of places and I love it here. No regrets. Chris, zero regret. Wasn't supposed to be a positive video. Donna, nothing at all. Love it. Linda said that I wasn't born here. I didn't move here sooner and I didn't buy more property when I did move here. I think that's a common regret just with the economy and the values of literally everything. If you're able to buy a home here, five or 10 years ago and real estate in general, like these comments go to prove that you should buy real estate and then wait rather than waiting to buy real estate because hindsight, you know, five to 10 years, whatever it is that you're thinking about buying right now will make the most 10 years from now because anything that we bought 10 years ago, we wish that we bought four of and mm -hmm. so do many other people in this discussion board. What a weird post asking us to respond to. <laughs> the wind, the pay and the drivers suck. Bill regrets that he moved here six years ago. He regrets that he didn't do it 30 years ago. Joanna leaving my grandchildren. Castle is bored, the heat, and lack of friendly girls. Oh, I found one. No regrets from Sheila. My life has improved. 100x. Um, yeah, 100x since moving here. Heather, I wasn't prepared for the heat, the people demographic, the price of living. Smallest house I've ever owned at triple the price for the least amount of land and I, that I've ever had. I guess it depends on where you moved from. St. George is definitely not the cheapest place in the country. There's a lot of absolutely nothings and not moving here sooner. Leaving family behind, too many things closed on Sunday and not moving here sooner. Right, lad. Bought my first house with a big detached garage on an acre in 1988 for 16,000. Those days are gone. Sure, but those days are definitely gone. Christy, regret? Hmm. I guess it's more like I miss, I miss stuff not available here in Southern Utah. Ikea, Trader Joe's, Deoso, Japan, 26 theater, movie, movie theater. theaters that actually give you a variety of film choices that all don't start with the Marvel to name a few. That's so true. I heard we were getting um, a Trader Joe's and I'm sure with growth, we'll get more, Absolutely. more variety. Randy, nothing. It's a great place to live my retirement years. It's definitely a great place to retire. Jim, too many good looking single women. Two, <laughs> it's difficult to choose between restaurants. Too many awesome choices. Three, outdoor adventure. Hell yes, that's a real drawback alrighty. Jim is a happy go lucky kind of guy. More people should be like Jim. Yeah. Greg has a great comment. Greg. Post like this and reading the responses. That's his biggest regret. He doesn't like dwelling in negativity. James, hmm, let me think. None. Audrey, nothing. Kathy, wind and heat. Cost of a pool. Cost of a pool won't be as bad if you buy a property or build in Dixie Power. It's true. Well, I think they're talking about the actual total cost of putting in a pool. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's usually right around 100 grand and up. The cost of everything's going up. Thank you for sticking around that far into this video. If you're seriously considering moving into this area, maybe you're thinking about building a custom home, we would absolutely love to be a resource to you. We have a great relationship with so many custom home builders in Southern Utah. We have a long list of general contractors that we would recommend. We have an even longer list of general contractors that we would recommend you avoid. If we could be of service to you, please feel free to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below this video. And there is a link for Calendarly so you could hop on our schedule for a quick call if that's the route you'd like to go. And as always, please give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm can suggest it to more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to smash the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, Mike, 110, 115, 117 degree heat, 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 no decent food, no green except golf courses. Well, we are in a desert. What is the temperature right now? Finally below 100. We're at 100 degrees right now. Mary regrets that she didn't do it sooner. 
Nothing else? Cassie, I did regrets. I didn't move here. I was born here. One, I regret being born here in the 90s instead of being able to buy a home here in the 90s. Two, not being able to do anything about the growth. And three, not having central air. Patty said, the only thing I complain about is the nasty wind would sometimes get in Ivan's love everything else. You know, that's a, that's a common complaint. If you get a home with a view anywhere on a cliff or anywhere in an open area, Ivan's and Hurricane are kind of known for, for having higher winds. Rodney, getting involved with a local scammer. She nearly killed me. Careful, Rodney. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Aaron said, I've been to Nevada and Southern California. This is the cleanest, safest town I have ever lived in. There's not rampant homelessness, shooting up drugs in the street. You can. You can let your kid walk to the bus without having to stand outside with them and watch them to make sure they don't get snatched up. The police actually give a crap and protect the citizens. I agree. Joyce said, the winds and hurricane missing the variety of restaurants we had and the heat. I think those are the top three. Or what? The winds, the heat, the restaurants, the drivers. Not buying sooner. Not buying sooner. Is that something that you would consider an absolute deal breaker? In fact, are any of these regrets that people have shared with us in the comments enough to take St. George of a list of your top places to move? We would love to hear from you. If you see yourself living here, despite all the cons, we would love to help you find the perfect place to live. And if you now happen to hate St. George because of all the negative comments that we just shared from you, there are so many great places to live in Utah. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, or get in contact with us via email. Let's get the conversation started. <music>